One of the largest spring events in the city is happening this weekend. The No Kid Hungry Taste of the Nation event is this Sunday from 1 to 4 at Franklin Park, which has been newly renovated. So we spoke to Andy Villabona of the No Kid Hungry campaign about the event and how the organization works to fight hunger. Andy, great to have you here, especially as we are celebrating No Kids Hungry uh, Taste of the Nation being back in person, mm -hmm. right? What can we expect at the event this year? Yeah, we're, we're thrilled to be back. So for, for over 30 years, Taste of the Nation has been one of the most anticipated food events of the spring season. And we're thrilled to be back after this two year hiatus. Um, guests can expect an, an experience of unlimited bites and drinks, craft cocktails, non-alcoholic offerings, uh, some great games and activations from our No Kid Hunger partners. And for the first time uh, with this year, we're actually going to have tickets for kids under 21. So really exciting oh, for, for families to be able to come out and, and spend an afternoon with us. And so an incredible day full of delicious mm -hmm. food, right? Some of the most incredible chefs from all over the country, but also benefiting the work that you all do. Correct. Correct. Yeah. 100% um, of the proceeds are into our work. Um, mm. As you can imagine, the pandemic uh, exacerbated the issue of childhood hunger here in D.C. and across the country. And millions more kids are facing hunger today than before the pandemic. Um, and hungry kids and their families will feel the impact of this crisis well into the future. So we're glad to be back producing these events and raising funds uh, in the most meaningful way possible to, to help as many families as possible. I would imagine because of that, with the pandemic, you have set pretty high goals for this um, event this time around. Correct. Uh, our goal is to raise over $100,000 at this event, and we're well on our way uh, between our national partners uh, and then our local supporters. We're, we're, we're trending in the right direction. Too. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Who are some of the special chefs mm -hmm. and restaurants that you're excited to have? Uh, we're we're really thrilled to have Kevin Tien, uh, Gina Shersavani, uh, Mike Friedman, Sahil Rahman, uh, Raul Binod, uh, some, some great talent from the D.C. area. We're also bringing in some of our great supporters from across the country uh, to into the D.C. area to spend some time with these chefs. So uh, we've got Matt Bell from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Isaac Toops from New Orleans, uh, Timon Balu coming up from South Florida. So really excited wow. to have some some local talent uh, paired with some of our out of town chefs at this year's event. Beyond just the one night, is it are is there anything you would suggest people watching today that they can do right now mm -hmm. to help support and help fight childhood hunger? Yeah, I, I would recommend folks uh, whether they're planning to attend or if they can't attend uh, to visit milkandhungry.org slash taste. Uh, you get the chance to learn a little bit more about the event and the things that we have going on. Uh, but there's also direct links there to our website on various other ways that folks can get engaged with the work that we're doing, uh, whether it's doing their own virtual fundraising events or if they want to explore other opportunities to support some of our partners uh, and, and help us raise those critical funds. Mm -hmm. Andy, we're excited to have Taste of the Nation back yeah. in person. People are going to have an incredible time, but also thank you to everything that you all do at No Kid Hungry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We, we're looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully we'll see you two out there.